the new mandates, they don't apply very easily to the resort. So guests are welcome to visit the resort, both those who have received their vaccines and those who haven't. Um, what happens is when you arrive at the front desk um, and you show us your proof of vaccination, you're given a wristband and then you can have access to everything at the resort. Those who do visit us and don't have proof of a vaccination, um, they don't receive a wristband and there's a relatively limited number of things that they can do. Uh, eat on a patio, outdoor recreation, of course they can stay here in the hotel as a guest. Um, but any of our indoor recreation, any of our indoor restaurants, those types of things would not be available to guests who have not shown proof of vaccination. So we surveyed our hosts about 45 days ago um, and we found that around 90% of those who filled out that survey and about 75% of our team filled it out, they were already either double vaxxed or planning to get their second vaccination. So we feel pretty good about where we are. Um, just yesterday we did rule out a policy where all of our hosts by November 1st um, will require proof of double vaccination to, to work at the resort. First and foremost, it's about creating an environment here for our hosts where we're feeling safe and where we're making sure everybody is safe. Um, our industry is about working closely together, so you can't really complete a job in our industry with a you know, fellow host, a fellow employee, without being relatively close in, in some cases. So it's mainly about the safety of our hosts. That's sort of job one for us. Um, and then, of course, we have a lot of guests. So think about our group guests, which is about half of our visits are people here who might be for a conference or event. They need to be vaccinated to get into those types of things. Um, and so for us, it's just making sure that our guests know that we're doing everything that we can to make sure that they feel safe as well. Thank you.